Yo, what is up, all you Stone Cold, Illmatic, Fish Keeping, Funky Monkeys, King Kongs of Aquariums? You watch Aquafunk Aquatic with me, Aquafunk. And look, this tank is what we're talking about. If you haven't watched the previous videos, this is going to be a series. Basically, um, this is the first video you're watching of the series. Um, I'm going to be going live soon, so I'm setting up a staging area, the display tank, from scratch. And I'm doing a, every day, I'm doing a little bit of video, a little bit um, of, I'm doing a little bit, a little video. Of how, every day I'm gonna be doing a video of a little bit until okay every day I'm gonna be doing a, a video every day I'm gonna be doing a video documenting a little bit I'm gonna be documenting the damn series as I go along every day <laughs> so so you can watch the other videos would really give this video some context you know what I'm saying and hit the subscribe button because you ain't gonna want to miss these videos or the live stream okay it's the next day um, yesterday I did put a second coat on you can see all the runs and stuff and look right there it ran really bad so I went ahead and put um, a little dab on there <clears throat> check it it's a hot mess right but when I take the tape off and you look at it from the inside it's gonna be nice plus ain't nobody gonna see the side or the back trust me everybody if you see something like that one of the best ways to do is look on the inside and if you can see like light spots where you can see through redo it you don't want to do this and then realize after it's in place and it has water that you know that it, there was some spots that you could have went over because oh the focus man there it is yeah you don't want to do this and realize oh i should have did it a second coat because for the entire time that tank is set up that's all you're gonna see no matter how beautiful your fish are all you're gonna see is that mistake Ooh -wee! oh Look, a wet spot. Now I got paint on it, but I can get it off. Don't worry about that. There she blows. There she is. She's sitting on her stand. Now don't worry about the stand. That's gonna be all covered up, looking nice and pretty. Um, but look, see there. Now that this stuff you'll see on the back too. But you know what? Ain't nobody looking at the back. So all I have to do is worry about cleaning this up. Now check it out. Ordinarily. I don't do that but I was in a rush and I wanted to go all fast and stuff um, for the sake of the video and I, I did I did mass amounts of boo-boos so don't do that take your time slow and steady don't win the race it don't that's just a lie but it does make things work a little bit easier in the long run so um, let's go ahead and let me clean this up I gotta clean off the glass I got wiped down the inside and then we're gonna get into what I'm gonna use for filtration and lighting and heating and all the guts and the workings of the mechanisms and the stuff is like that all right so I just got finished wiping it down with vinegar and some of you it just it occurred to me some of you guys might be wondering why vinegar um well here it is vinegar acts as a detoxifier so if something may have got into the tank um, that was um, deadly, this would detoxify it, and it the, it, it dissipates after uh, after a while. So you know, it's, I mean, when I, when I say after a while, I mean it's like real quick. I don't know the exact amount of time that it dissipates, but you pretty much just get a towel, put some vinegar in it, wipe it down, then you get um, regular water, and till the most of the vinegar, you ain't gonna get all the vinegar smell out right away, but it will go away. Um, and that's why I use vinegar. I have seen people use dish soap, and I lie, I'd be lying to you if I said I never use dish soap. I have before. The only the only problem with dish soap is you have to be 100% sure that you got all the residue out of that tank. Then, once you are 100% sure you got all the residue out of the tank, you want to wash it again to make doubly sure that you got all the residue out of the tank. Now that that's all wiped down and cleaned out, we got to look at the, there's my power source I'm going right there. We're going to talk about um, filtration, heater, lights, and all that, and hood, and all that stuff. So, you're not a, listen, you want to know when you're a full-fledged fish keeper? When you got totes of random fish stuff laying around. So, uh, we're going to go with, ta -da! I had this on the discus tank, but when I um, took down the discus tank and put them outside and make room for this, um, I had this put aside and then I forgot about it. Hold on, let me, let me put you down for a sec because this is very important. Okay, so this is my 
Title 55 by C. Kim, or I um, can't remember the Italian name. Now I gotta clean it up. But this thing is extremely quiet. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link of when I did a video about it. But here's what I did wrong, people. I let that just sit there and marinate <coughs> in um, non-moving, non-oxygenated water for days. So guess what's that? That's all poison. Poison. So I don't want to fill this tank up and then um, um, start running it without thoroughly cleaning that out. Now, I'm not going to have beneficial bacteria in any of that, but it's better than the alternative, which is all the bacteria that's in there are our dead carcasses of bacteria. So if I were to set this tank up and just start running it without 100% sanitizing it, I'd be putting dead carcasses in here, which is, you know, bad. But for right now, let's talk about... The filtration. I'm gonna use this. This is 455. It has the um, skimmer. It has the holder for the heater, which um, this is just for demonstration purposes. I have a better heater for this. Which, hey, the heater that I'm putting this, yeah, you're gonna want to see that because it's like the Cadillac of heaters. You know what I'm saying? Cadillac. So that goes on there like that. You guys remember that? I call it Franken filter. Um, what else? Oh. I'm gonna put this on as a pre-filter in there, right there on the bottom of that. And I wanna use these things right here, which is, these are those, uh, yeah, this is how I roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is, this is what this is. This is extra biological filtration. Let me put the, let me get it together. This is, extra extra biological filtration i'm gonna go ahead and put that in there too like right there um and the reason why is because i just love a lot of biological filtration i can't get enough of it and no, neither can the fish biological filtration biological filtration biological filtration this also performs mechanical filtration i'm thinking about putting some purigen in there that'll be chemical um, filtration i don't know not to mention when I do the substrate, that's gonna be a big uh, biological filter. So let, let me, oh, and the lights. Let me get the lights for you. All right, so we are almost there. We're getting there, we're getting there. I got my Franken filter right there. Like I said, that heater is there just for display purposes. I got a Mac Daddy heater coming. I'm really excited about that. Uh, the um, That little sponge filter you see laying right there I'm gonna actually have to silicone that to the side. I'm gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna silicone it to the side of the tank. Um, I'm thinking like right here maybe. Um, or maybe I just put it away on the other side where it won't even be seen. And the reason why, like I said earlier, I just want a lot of extra filtration. I got this, um, this is actually a, a divider. It's really, it's a really cool one. Um, but it, it's also acting as egg crate because I plan on putting a nice size rock in there. And uh, I use that to displace the weight so that there's not a rock just laying on the glass. I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. Got my little aquashella thingy right there. What you think? What you think? Look, tomorrow I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do the substrate. I got a special guest coming for that. So please, please watch tomorrow's video. We just need to figure out how to make that happen. But um, yeah, I got special guests coming for that. If you can see this paint that has dripped in between the glass and the molding, not a big deal. Be covered up by the substrate, whether it be the rocks or the gravel or the sand, whatever, whatever it is, whatever it is, um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be covered up. But uh, yeah, I'm like, what y'all think? Can't wait till live. I can't wait to start going live now. I'm getting hyped up. Get hyped up. <laughs>